the ICW has flooded. Did you kill a small animal over here? Oh my god. This time we tried to go into a marina. I took out the outrigger uh, the outrigger fishing poles of a very expensive catamaran. This is your warning. This video contains content that might not be appropriate for all audiences. So we're just outside of Wenham Bay in South Carolina, anchored out, trying to wait for the current to change direction. We started going, but then it was no use. It was just gonna be ridiculous. So we anchored out and look at this island that's heading toward us. <laughs> oh, we're gonna narrowly miss it. That might take your anchor out and hit you. Really? Yeah. It'd be a fucking mess either way. Yeah, I don't know how you can get out of it. You'd have to like pull the anchor up and then like back up faster in yeah. the current. Or just plow, just keep it on there. So we've left Georgetown. We've only gone like 17 miles because the currents are such a bear to deal with. Did you kill a small animal over here? Oh my god. <laughs> it's all my hair. Gross. <laughs> I meant to throw it off. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> Sorry. But now we're gonna go explore. Woo. Now we're gonna go explore this cool little estuary around here. It looks so cool though. by the fact that this is an entire forest that just grows in the water. I think that's amazing. Pretty sweet, dude. Like we have wetlands in Alaska, but we don't have like ginormous trees growing out of it. <laughs> in fact, it's pretty much a wasteland. <laughs> Ready to go. Usually when I tell you guys where you've gotten up early, it doesn't even look early, but this morning it does. We're up early this morning because we're going to Beaufort. We're leaving Wrightsfield Beach. It's a pretty open entrance, so we can go when it's kind of dusky and a little bit dark. And it's like a 73 mile day up to Beaufort. Pretty excited. I already talked to the camera. Did you? What'd you say? So we're leaving today. Where are we going? 
Huh? Told them. Well, tell them again. Or do you want to know? Maybe mine's better. I actually have no idea where we're going. <laughs> Beaufort. Beaufort? Beaufort. Beaufort. <laughs> Rena, I'm concerned traffic. Yeah, really. They're not the ones doing the all right so what's going on pickles like don't worry about the warships that are everywhere testing with live ammunition and then i didn't realize this but a warship means a fucking submarine and it came up right in front of us that's a submarine <laughs> they seem cool about it though yeah, they're like yeah you're a fucking dumbass like because i'm like i think that i might be around you well, they're underwater. How are you supposed to know? Like, uh, yeah, you dumb shit. We gave you the coordinates. <laughs> it was too fast for me to write down. I, I got the first 36, 36, 18. It's <laughs> <laughs> hard. They're going away, though. That's good. Thank God. Bye, submarine. So, for future reference, if they say a warship, it's not going to be a ship that you can see, like I thought. Going to be a fucking submarine. They should say submarine. The top looks like a cargo ship, like or like a tiny tugboat. Top, and so I was like, oh, that cargo ship's really far away. You're like, oh and shit. I'm like, look at the. I didn't know what the white stuff around it was, and I was like, oh shit. It's a beached whale. All right, cool. It's not fine, Figgle. As you can see, from the copious amounts of laundry, the chain diverter that Spencer assured me was not a permanent fixture, but has somehow become a permanent fixture. Our bed, our bed, which has not seen changed and clean sheets for an embarrassingly amount of time. We need to go into a marina. Pickle, we need to. Um, we didn't film it, which I'm kind of glad we didn't, but the last time we tried to go into a marina, I took out the outrigger, uh, the outrigger fishing poles of a very expensive catamaran, which luckily they did not seek any compensation from, from me. Um, and we, so we actually didn't make it into the, into the marina. And so we have now like lasted up until Oriental, North Carolina, which is where we are now. And we are pulling in to a marina tomorrow. It's dock day. Uh, we're heading over to the marina, which is only like a mile away. And we're going to dock. So we got to the marina today, as you saw me pull in. It went like 80% well. <laughs> but now we're all hanging out at the clubhouse and there is a woman here that does fire arts. Pretty sure they have a YouTube channel. I haven't sussed it out yet. I'll link it down below if they do. But I'm very excited because you're all gonna see this. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting rainy. So the lady from uh, fire arts. I'll insert the fire right name. No, I don't know. I can't She's remember. gonna be doing the fire arts now. That's gonna be awesome. We already had fireworks, which were very exciting. And probably illegal. Probably. <laughs> you wanna try? I don't think I'd be very good at that. Don't say that. No bad attitude. So kind of like hot potato, hot potato. Oh, okay, okay. And this is kind of like helicopter. Right. Just throw it up. Yeah. Okay. And look at it. Look at it. Got it. Great. Do it.
Thanks for watching, Fries. Make sure you're subscribed and you hit the bell so you get notifications every time we upload a video, which is every Friday. Here's a sneak peek of what's to come. Hey, you found the oil leak, V. Good job. So they're gonna come do a compression test on the old girl to see if she's worthwhile keeping, even though she pisses oil everywhere all the time. A lot of decisions will be made based on what this guy said. I've broken Spencer down until he has bought me an air conditioner.